Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to transfer your funds or your coins from one exchange to another. And then from there on, we'll also teach you how to stake your coins step by step to earn more crypto. So if you find this video useful and informative, please subscribe to know more. And yeah, in this video, we're going to use an example dito and we're going to use coins at PH. We're going to use Binance and we're also going to use Crypto.com. So in this case, we are going to transfer your coins from coins at PH and from Binance to Crypto.com. So you could actually check the timestamps down below if you want to skip to a certain part of this video. So yeah, when, with that being said, let's dive into this video. So let's start first with coins at PH. So before you transfer your funds, all you have to do first is you have to be verified in either coins at PH and Crypto.com. So in this first example, we are going to transfer your funds from coins.ph to crypto.com. So in this case, what you will be needing first is your coins.ph account. And then of course, you need to have your crypto.com account. And then yeah, let's start with transferring your coins.ph. So let's start first by transferring your money. So what I normally do is by typically transferring it by XRP method. So what you have to do first is to convert your money into XRP. So let's say meron ka ng XRP ngayon dito sa inyong wallet. What you're going to do next is you're going to click send. So once you have click send, you will actually see the screen. And then once you've seen the screen, all you have to do is to click enter XRP address. So now you will now see this screen na nakalagay yung XRP address and the destination tag. So what you're going to do next is you have to copy the XRP address from the destination wallet. So kung yari gusto mo siya i-transfer kay Crypto.com, all you have to do is to copy the XRP and destination tag ng Crypto.com XRP address mo. So in this case, pupunta tayo sa ating Crypto.com app natin. And then we're going to search for our wallet. So to find your XRP address sa inyong Crypto.com, all you have to do is to click the button track dun sa bottom right ng screen. And then let's search for XRP. So just key in XRP and then after you have key in XRP, you will find this XRP and then just click XRP and then you will now click the XRP wallet na makita mo dyan sa bottom part ng screen. So once you have clicked that XRP wallet, makikita mo niya yung XRP balance. So now what you're going to do next is to click transfer kasi you want to transfer your money from coins.ph to crypto.com. So once you have clicked transfer, lalabas dyan, may lalabas dyan ng dalawang button and it's deposit and withdraw. So in this case, we're going to click deposit. Once you have clicked deposit, lalabas dyan yung inyong XRP address as well as your destination tag. So all you have to do now is to copy your XRP wallet address. So let's go back to coins.ph and then i-paste natin yung ating XRP address. And the next is we're going to copy our destination tag. So remember, dapat hindi mo, wag nyo kakalimutan yung destination tag. Dapat palagi yan nandyan. So let's copy the destination tag and then paste natin siya. And then ensure na palaging tama yung details. Kasi pag mali, kiniin yung details, mawawala yung money nyo at di nyo na makukuha yan. So as much as possible, remember to double check and validate your, uh, your address before sending it. Once na-validate mo na siya, you can now click next and then you have to enter your recipient name which is yourself. So key in your name. And then after that, we're going to click a destination exchange. So in this case, since wala si Crypto.com dito sa ating selections of exchange, we, ha we will be clicking other dito sa ating destination exchange. So once we, once click mo na other, let's type in Crypto.com. So this is just for their documentation purposes lang sa sa coins.ph so now once nandyan na all you have to do now is to key in your amount so lalabas yun yung wallet balance mo so right now meron tayong 49 XRP and then meron tayong transfer fee na XRP of around sobrang late lang yan hindi siya abut ng 50 pesos actually hindi siya abut ng 20 pesos or 10 pesos itong transfer from coins.ph to crypto.com or any exchange so in this case tatype na natin dito yung amount of XRP na gusto nyo i-transfer so let's say we want to transfer 48.5 XRP. So let's transfer 48.5 XRP. And then, yeah, just validate that. And then, let's go click next. And then once na-click mo na yung next, you will have to verify na, make sure lang na may two-factor tayo. 
And the next, lalabas din yung two-factor just to verify na ikaw yung mismo nagsisend talaga. Kasi of course, for security purposes, para if ever na may mag-try mag-cash out ng iyong money, at least alam mo, alam ng coins page na ikaw talaga yung, 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 yung nagta-transfer. So once you've click, once you've verified your email, lalabas na itong receipt mo na nag-transfer ka na na XRP. So ganun lang siya kadali guys. So now this will take around 2 to 5, 2 to 5 minutes to, in your transfer. So minsan nga laabot lang siya na within 1 minute lalabas na siya sa iyong crypto.com address or any type of exchange. So depende lang siya talaga sa exchange kung gaano katagal siya niya i-release. Pero yeah, usually sobrang bilis lang niyan. And then you can either wait this one out na abangan niyo mag-transaction completed or pwede na kayo actually pumunta sa inyong exchange and then abangan niyo na mag-reflect dito sa XRP wallet niyo. And, th and then you can just refresh your XRP wallet para lumabas si inyong wallet balance. So, ganun lang siya kadali guys kung paano mag-transfer from your coins.ph account to the crypto.com exchange. Or typically, kahit ano exchange, ganun, lang, ganun kadali lang mag-transfer. So, yeah, kita nyo ganun lang siya kabilis and halos wala tayong fees dito. Ang problema mo nga lang dito kasi is minsan mahal yung exchange rate ni coins.ph when it comes to Philippine Peso to XRP. So, ano ba yung isa pang option natin dito? Yung isang option na pwede natin gawin is by using the Binance method. So ngayon, paano ba yung ating Binance method? So yung gagawin natin yung usual steps na pagka-cash in dito kay Binance. So pag nakash in ka na kay Binance either by P2P or via card, kung anong preferred mo, kailangan mo na ngayon i-convert yung iyong money to XRP. So to convert your money to XRP, you just all you have to do is just go to trade or you can actually just click market and then search for XRP. So lalabas din yung XRP sa spot and then just click XRP USDT sa spot. And then now, lalabas itong screen. So, just click buy. And now, once nag-buy ka na, you have to click market before before keying in. So, the reason why we're going to click market is para mag-buy siya ngayon on the spot ng iyong XRP. And then, we'll key in a certain amount of XRP. So, in this case, $10 yung transfer natin. So, let's just type in 10. Make sure nyo na ang kiniklik nyo dyan is yung total para $10 yung inyong inyong mapabay na XRP. So, once na input mo na yung $10, all you have to do is just to click buy. So, pag na-click mo na yung buy, magkakaroon ka na na XRP sa inyong wallet. So, now let's go to wallet and then click spot. Remember, na papasok sa spot wallet and then hanapin nyo lang yung XRP wallet nyo and then makita mo na meron na tayong balance sa ating XRP. So, from there on, we're going to transfer your XRP from Binance to Crypto.com. So, from Binance, all you have to do is just to click withdraw. So, once na-click mo na withdraw, lalabas dyan yung inyong, lalabas dyan yung address and the network and yung amount. So, what we're going to do first is ikakopy natin yung crypto.com address, XRP address natin. So, babalik tayo ulit sa ating XRP address natin. So, balik tayo sa XRP wallet sa crypto.com. Let's click transfer. And then, let's click deposit again. So, lalabas dito ulit yung inyong destination tag and of course, your XRP wallet address. So, in this case, ikakopy natin ulit si XRP wallet address. And then, i-paste natin siya sa address. And then, dito, i-select natin yung network. So, dito, ang isa-select natin is yung XRP network. So, para mura yung fees natin. And makita mo na 0.25 XRP. So, that's roughly around 12 pesos siguro or 15 pesos. So, ganun lang siyang kamura para mag-transfer. And then, once na-click mo na XRP, kailangan natin i-copy yung ating destination tag. So, to copy your destination tag, all you have to do is just go back to your crypto.com address. And then, once na-click mo na XRP destination tag, balit tayo ulit dito sa ating XRP address natin. And then, nagagawin natin is, i-click natin yung tag. And then, i-paste natin sa tag yung ating address. And then, i-make sure, i-validate nyo na tama yung inyong amount, tama yung inyong mga address. And then, let's click amount. And then, i-key in yung certain amount na gusto nyo i-transfer. Pero in this case, so, i-transfer ko yung maximum amount ko from my XRP. And then once okay ka na dyan, just validate it and then just click withdraw. So always remember guys to take a screenshot din palagi of your transaction para just in case na mawala at meron kayong receipt na pwede nyo i-send in sa mga support ng exchange. So once na-click mo na withdraw, just take a screenshot and then confirm mo lang yung inyong order and then click confirm. For after that, Mag magkakaroon na ng verification, i-verify yung identity nyo by just keying in your two-factor code. And then once nasubmit nyo na yan, and then nalabas nyo yung receipt na withdrawal request has been submitted. And then in this case, kailangan nyo take siya ng screenshot para just in case na mawala, meron kang receipt. And at least, kahit pa paano, meron kang documentation ng inyong transfer na XRP. 
So, once sa transfer na siya, abangan lang natin siya mag-reflect. Mag-email din sa inyo yung confirmation. And then, of course, it will take around 2 to 5 minutes para matransfer yung ating XRP. So, if tumagal yung ating transfer, I think dun yung nakailangan i-message yung Binance kasi dun yung exchange transfer natin. So, always remember na kailangan yung document in yung mga transfer. And of course, validate your details before transferring. And then, once okay na siya, all you have to do now is just to go to your XRP address sa crypto.com. And then, just refresh makikita mo na meron na tayong XRP. And then, to convert your money into stablecoin or USDC or USDT, all you have to do is just to click sell XRP and then, ikiin mo lang amount na gusto mo i-transfer. So, ganun lang siya kadali, guys, when transferring from Coinset PH or Binance to other exchanges such as Crypto.com. So, makita nyo na sobrang dali lang ng pag-transfer natin. So, ganun lang siya sa kahit ano exchange. All you have to do is just to key in your destination tag, and your wallet address. And then, make sure na meron kayong two-factor authentication na naka-open. Once na-transfer na natin yung ating amount to crypto.com, ngayon gusto natin siya i-stake. Ngayon, paano ba yung step-by-step -step tutorial staking natin? So, let's start dito sa step-by-step -step tutorial. So, just to summarize the step, ang kailangan muna natin gawin is to convert your money into that specific crypto. And then, from there on, isa-stake natin yung crypto na yun using the crypto earn. So, Start na natin yung ating step-by-step -step process. So now, first things first, all you have to do is just to click the crypto.com icon na makita mo dyan sa bottom center ng screen. So click mo yung icon. And then lalabas dyan ngayon yung inyong options. So meron dyan actually under finance, ikiklik mo yung earn. So once sa click mo yung crypto earn, lalabas dyan yung mga inyong coins na naka-stake. Or if wala pa, we will be adding a new coin na pwede natin stake so, ikiklik natin ngayon yung plus sign. So, all you have to do is just to click the plus sign. So, once nakalik mo na yung plus sign, lalabas yun yung mga iba't ibang cryptocurrency na pwede mong stake. So, in this example, mag-stake tayo ng Bitcoin kasi ang kagandaan nito is crypto.com, pwede ka mag-stake ng Bitcoin. Unlike other apps, hindi ka pwede mag-stake ng Bitcoin. So, yeah, I prefer crypto.com when it comes to staking Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, yeah, let's click Bitcoin. So, once nakalik mo na si Bitcoin, pipili na tayo ngayon ng term na gusto nating i-follow upon staking. So, so ngayon, the more na mas matagal yung inyong term, the more na mas mataas yung inyong interest rate. So, in this case, ang gagawin ko is mag-stake ako for one month and then in this case, I will have 3% per annum of interest upon staking it. So, yung maku makukuha ko yung rewards ko weekly, so magkakaroon ako ng free Bitcoin every week by just staking my Bitcoin. So, we will just be clicking one month term for my example. So, ikaw pwede ka mag 3 months if in case gusto mo mas matagal. And then, remember to read the terms. And then, once na okay ka na sa terms, all you have to do is to click the check boxes. And then, ngayon, nalabas dito ngayon yung minimum amount na kailangan mo stake for your specific cryptocurrency. In this case, ang kailangan natin stake for Bitcoin is around 0 0.005 Bitcoin or, or around 224 US dollars. So, right now, ang available ko kasi dito is 0.0039 Bitcoin. So, in this case, I have to buy more Bitcoin. So, ang gagawin natin is mag-buy tayo ng Bitcoin. So, para makapag-buy ng Bitcoin, punta lang tayo sa ating, balik tayo sa homepage, and then, click natin yung track, and then, search natin si Bitcoin dito sa ating coin. And then, once, once sa lumabas na si Bitcoin, just click Bitcoin. And then, nalabas itong page ni Bitcoin, and then, we will be clicking Buy Bitcoin. So ngayon, ang isi-select natin is crypto wallet para dun tayo mag para dun tayo mag buy ng ating Bitcoin. And then of course, ang ikikiin natin dito kasi 'di ba meron lang tayo 0 0.003 Bitcoin. Bibili tayo ng 0 0.002 para meron tayong total of 0 0.005 Bitcoin. Isi-select natin kung saang wallet manggagaling ating Bitcoin. So in this case, kukunin natin sa ating USDC account. So we will just be clicking USDC or USD coin para makapag-buy na tayo ating Bitcoin. And as you can see, 0 0.002 Bitcoin is equivalent to 91 US dollars. So, so once na-click na natin itong amount, you can just click buy BTC. So, once na buy na nyo na siya, lalabas niyo inyong receipt na kailangan nyo i-validate muna. And then, once na okay to sa inyo, all you have to do is just to click confirm. So, once na-click mo na yung confirm, i-verify lang yan. And then, of course, once ready na yan, you have now purchased your 2 Bitcoin. So now ready na tayo mag-stay kasi meron na tayo at least 0 0.005 Bitcoin. So balik na tayo sa ating crypto earn. So balik tayo sa ano homepage natin and then click the crypto.com icon na makita mo dyan sa bottom center na screen. And then under finance, select earn. And then dito, from there on, click natin si plus sign. 
And then from the plus sign, i-select natin ulit si Bitcoin as yung currency na i-transfer natin. Select natin one month term. And then remember to check yung mga iba't ibang terms dito sa ating crypto.com earn. And then once okay ka na dyan, let's now key in your amount of Bitcoin na gusto mo stake So in this case, gusto ko i-stake lahat ng aking Bitcoin na naka-store. So you could actually click maximum. So once na-click mo na yung max, of course yung maximum amount of Bitcoin yung matatransfer dyan or masa-stake. So once okay ka na dyan, just click deposit. And then nalabas dyan yung receipt just to validate your order. And then once okay ka na dyan, just click confirm. And then once nagawa mo na yan, just a quick verification. And then now you have successfully deposited and staked your Bitcoin. So nakita nyo guys, ganun kadali lang siya mag-stake, ganun lang kadali mag-transfer. And then once na-confirm nyo na yung inyong staking, lalabas na yung inyong staked coin dito sa ating Crypto.com Crypto Earn Wallet. So makita mo dyan na meron na tayong 1 month term for our Bitcoin with 3% interest per annum. And then ayan. So makita mo dyan ngayon yung iba't ibang naka-stake ngayon na inyong coin. So dito lalabas dyan yung total earnings mo if ever na may, may makukuha ka ng free Bitcoin. And then yung transaction history mo for your crypto earn. So pakita natin yung example na meron tayo sa Ethereum. So lalabas sa Ethereum ko. So as you can see dito sa Ethereum ko, meron na ako actually na in, nakukuhang free Ethereum per week. So makita mo na every week meron akong free Ethereum dito sa aking crypto.com crypto earn ko. So ayun guys, ganun lang kadali kung paano natin ito transfer yung funds natin from Coins.ph and Binance to crypto.com or different exchanges. And then ganun kadali lang kung paano tayo mag-stake ng ating coins. So by the way guys, we will be having another Gab Crypto giveaway dito sa ating channel. And this is because of your never-ending support sa aking channel. And yeah, in this giveaway, I'll be giving away $20 worth of crypto to 5 lucky winners. So remember, 5 lucky winners to. So marams, mas malaki ang chance na makuha ng award dito. So the criteria for this raffle are as follows. You must follow my social media accounts. You need to follow my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and you must also have a verified Crypto.com account. Though, hindi naman kailangan exactly verified, basta meron kayong Crypto.com account. And then, after na meron kayong verified account, you will input your Twitter, Instagram handles, YouTube link, and your Crypto.com referral code down below. So, to find your Crypto.com referral code, all you have to do is just to click the Crypto.com icon dyan sa homepage nyo, and then scroll to the far bottom, click refer, and then makikita mo yung inyong referral ID at the bottom left of your screen. So, i-copy nyo yun and then yun yung ipipaste nyo dito sa ating sign-up sheet. Once nakuha nyo na yun, it, it sign nyo, il il ilalagay nyo dito email nyo, yung referral ID nyo, yung, yung sinabi natin kanina, your Twitter handle, your Instagram handle, your, and then of course, your YouTube channel. So, tandaan nyo, one entry per email itong ating sign-up link. So, if the criteria is not met, I will draw a different winner. If let's say, nanalo ka pero hindi nyo nasundan yung mga criteria natin, I will be contacting the winner also via Instagram and Twitter. Winner will be drawn at this September 27, 2021 and is announced at my September 27 video. So, abangan yun. And then, we are also announcing this winner sa ating group chat ng Crypto.com. So, if you want to join the Crypto.com group chat, you can find the link in the description down below or makita nyo siya dito. You can just join here. And the reason na mahalaga yung Crypto.com account kasi doon natin ibibigay yung ating award. So, make sure na gumawa kayo ng Crypto.com account. So, if wala pa kayong Crypto.com account, you can actually use my sign-up link na makita nyo din sa description down below or dito sa form. Or you could actually use my referral code which is Gabs Crypto upon signing up. So, yeah. This is for new and existing users. So, if meron na kayo account, just key in your referral ID lang dito. So, in case, sali lang kayo dito sa ating raffle just in case na manalo kayo. So, in guys. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.